Hello, and this is the Roche the Rochia with Rochia Games, where we are winning at the game of real life. Today we are doing a video on an election that is coming up here in the state of Utah for the U.S. Senate. This is a race between Mike Kennedy, a former Utah State House of Representative, and a former doctor and lawyer. So he has both doctor and lawyer degrees. And then we have on the other side, okay, no, not really on the other side because they're both on the same side, they're both Republicans. But Mitt Romney is running as he was the former governor of Massachusetts. He ran for president a couple of times. So we will go into the issues. The first issue, Mitt Romney and Mike Kennedy, they went into a debate and we are going to be talking about the points that were covered in that debate. We're going to go over uh, kind of the basic idea that each of them gave in response to the questions that were being asked. So the first is, what are your qualifications? The qualifications for Mike Kennedy are, he has been in favor of good economic policies for the state and has been able to keep the state economically afloat very well. The state is in very good economic condition and he's been on state legislative for a while, or state house of representatives. He's been in the state house of representatives for a while and he's been able to make sure that things are going well. So basically experience in government is one of the major qualifications that he has. He also has both that law and medical degree, which I imagine will come in handy. He's got a medical practice, also would have at least learned a few things that might help him as he represents uh, the state of Utah or, or his district in the state of Utah. I'm sure it's been coming in handy there as well. So anyway, the qualifications for Mitt Romney, the qualification that he cited the most and the strongest was that he has friends and clout in Washington and he will be able to get things done because he knows the people there and he knows how to get things done. He is very able to work with politicians through the through his experience with those politicians as well. He was also governor of Massachusetts which would give him more public more experience in politics. But basically he knows and he knows the people that he'd be dealing with. He knew knows the people in Washington. He'd be able to get things done. He'd be able to talk to them he'd be able to help progress deals farther along. That's basically what he's, he was saying. So, for health care, Mitt Romney believes that we should craft laws at the state level. He, sh he thinks that health care should be dealt with at the state level, not federal level. The, both candidates believe in repealing the Affordable Care Act and replacing it with something better. They believe that that replacement, though, should be done on the state level and not on the federal level. I'm not going to get big into that because if they're going to give it back to the states to make the decision and decide what to do with it, then they won't be dealing with it anyway. It will be the states that are dealing with it, so it will be passed to the state governments. So it doesn't really matter what they're doing. Um, so the next question was on trade and the trade deals that the United States is in and whether they were good, whether we needed to stay with them, whether we need to get out of them. And basically what came out of this is both of them agree that tariffs are not good. The tariffs should not be used, but Kennedy was willing to bend just a little bit towards tariffs could be used as a, a trade, as a tool to actually improve the situation and improve the ability to make trades. He is also supportive of Trump's tough talk against uh, bad trade deals. Well, his tough talk in general, really, because he also believes that it was uh, a help in North Korea, as well as it, he feels like it will be a very good help in negotiating new trade deals. Mitt Romney also supports the president in making these deals getting our trade deals to work better and he is willing to help Trump with that as well. However, he does not want a trade war and is very adamantly against a trade war of any type. Mike Kennedy is against a trade war but is willing to engage in one if it is necessary. Okay, so then the, the next question, they were asked about school shootings and what they think needs to happen because of them. Both of them came out um, saying that we should protect the Second Amendment. 
Mike Kennedy was a little bit stronger on the support for the Second Amendment. He does not support any additional bans on any weapons. Mike Kennedy says that we should improve our mental health system, and he helped create the Utah School Safety Commission, which is a commission that involves parents and kids and teachers and everybody involved and that is around, basically they'll report that they see that are wrong. And they've actually thwarted a few problems already. There was a bomb at one school that a kid called in that or reported that it was left and smoking in a public area. Uh, so yeah, the Utah School Safety Commission is one of the things that he helped create and he thinks needs to be considered and it's actually being considered in many other states at this point as well. Mitt Romney is a big fan of this commission as well. He does want to ban bump stocks. He does want to enhance background checks for all firearms and he is for limiting access points and to have protection as in security officers in the school at all times when school's in session. Just to have that protection there for the kids, a uh, trained, good, solid, able person to take care of the kids while they're there at school. Mike Kennedy's looking at more of a, let's put it to the community to figure out the solution, the true solutions for this problem. But then they were asked about the medical, ma medical marijuana and the medical marijuana initiative, whether they would support the initiative and whether they supported medical marijuana in general. Mike Kennedy says that he needs more information before he can support the initiative. And uh, at this point, with the information he's got, he will definitely be, he says that he will definitely be voting no on the initiative. Mitt Romney has come out and said that he believes this initiative is a step towards recreational marijuana. And so he is planning on voting no on this initiative as well. But they are, both in support of having this medicine available to people in Utah and people in general. Both of them would like to move marijuana from a Schedule 1 drug to a Schedule 2 drug so that it can be actually researched and so that we can actually get medicines from the drug, from marijuana. They do not want these medicines to be distributed and to be done in the way that the current initiative is going, would have it happen. Mike Kennedy, while in the State House of Representatives, did help with a bill that was passed in Utah law that does allow the CBD oil, which is basically cannabis oil, to be used in medicines here in Utah. So that is actually legal by Utah state law, but it is not legal by federal law. So the oils often what, when, where they're used is when you have small children with uh, seizures. It helps with those seizures. It helps calm those, calm those seizures. I believe that it also does some work as far as a pain reliever, the CBD does. The next issue was North Korea. And at this point, the summit had been canceled and then the summit was reinstated. And so they were commenting on, it's kind of off and on, but we want what we want from this summit is complete, verifiable denuclearization. Both of them were fairly specific on this, complete, verifiable denuclearization. Legal immigration, they both believe that there is a need for reforming the legal immigration system as well as the illegal immigration system. Uh, this also talks about DACA. Mitt Romney is a big fan of E-Verify and thinks that E-Verify definitely needs to be in there. Mike Kennedy did not comment on E-Verify. I guess I can't really speak for him, so we'll just leave it as he did not comment on E-Verify one way or the other. And E-Verify is just a system that that businesses can check to make sure that these people are legally in the United States when when uh, someone applies for a job at their place. One of the things that Mitt Romney is very adamant about with this E-Verify system is that if you make it so that they can't work and they can't find work because they are not on the E-Verify list, then they might actually self-deport themselves. They both believe in a need for a wall. Uh, they both think that we need to get it built. 
they need some physical barrier there before they're able to fix DACA fully. So they both believe that they can improve our uh, budget issues and reduce our national debt and that they both have ideas to go and push towards that. And uh, they both feel that we need to avoid shutdowns in the future. Mitt Romney proposes that we make sure that we have advanced bills so the bill gets in months before it actually gets to the deadline and they bring this bill and say, pass this or we're gonna have to shut down in like 12, 24 hours. Anyway, such a short time that it's hard to even read through the whole thing, let alone actually digest it and decide whether it was good or not. That's kind of the way the omnibus bill was passed and that's one of the things that they're very much saying, this is not the way we're not gonna, that we wanna work it. Mitt Romney says is that we need to basically approach them in advance saying this is what we think needs to happen with the budget and uh, this is what we will require in the budget in order to pass it. That ends the first segment of our video. The second segment I will be going through highlights of the same thing commenting on what's going on and I will also be talking a little bit about the pass for these guys. So Mike Kennedy actually has a very good record when it comes to the way he voted in the Utah State House of Representatives. He uh, was in favor of bills that the general public seemed to be in favor of and he was against bills that the general public seemed to be against. He is also the candidate that I support for this position. Mitt Romney, on the other hand, is from Massachusetts. He's not from Utah. This is one of the problems that I have with him is he knows Massachusetts, he does not know Utah. He does have club. He does have experience with the Washington elites and he does know the people there. Yeah, so he does have connections. He does know these people. He's been there. He's talked to them before. He's made deals with them before. He's definitely got experience with Washington, but I do question his strength on issues. I do question whether he's going to be roped into the negotiations or whether he's going to be able to be the negotiator. My personal opinion is, is he's not a great negotiator, but he is good at getting people together to negotiate. So he, he could be a facilitator of the negotiations, I just don't know as if he could be the negotiator. Mitt Romney is for TPP, which is a deal with the Asian, is the deal with the Asians. We have pulled out of TPP. Mitt Romney was also in favor of NAFTA. Please subscribe or like if you would like to do so. I am uh, the Roach of Therosia and we are here at Therosia Games and we are winning at the game of real life.